Right. Um, the last step for right here is to put the valve body in. Um, this is the parking rod, and it needs to go in this hole in here where the parking sprag is. The parking sprag is this spring-loaded thing that fits into that massive gear-looking thing on the that's attached to the governor. Um, you need to put this rod through that hole and also huh, do anything. That's how that should go. So the parking rod needs to go through that hole and then the shift selector needs to go through that hole. And it all should just sort of drop into place like that. Now, one thing that bit me, um, why part of the reason why I needed to do this work in the first place was this wiring goes over the top of the valve body. It's where all the rotating assemblies are. And I think this wire wore bare. Um, and I don't know how to prevent that because as I look here, or else you can't see this, but that wire is, I don't know, I can't tell. You're not gonna be able to see. I'm close to that, I don't know what, what else to do. There's nowhere else for this wire to go really. Um, that's not gonna get hooked on something else. So um, we'll deal with that in a second. Okay, just keep on that, keep right there. So now I have to bolt down valve body. Now, instruction manual, the factory service manual says this is, these are 7 sixteenths. Um, in my experience, they are precisely 11. So before I tighten these down, we do have to put the neutral safety switch in. The manual says something about putting the, um, leaving the valve body in place loose so you can sort of move it around because it's got a little bit of play. Um, once you put the screws in, I don't feel like it does have any play. So, not sure what they're on there. But we will put the neutral safety in before. I mean, it's got a little bit of play, not very much. So we'll put the neutral safety in. We'll just hand thread it, which goes right here. So the interesting thing is probably over the top. Right in here. So we'll, t we'll tighten that down. Almost put everything back together. But So the neutral safety basically pushes on, on that, lets that plunger come in and out, depending on what gear it's in. It either completes the circuit or opens the circuit. So now we'll tighten these down. We're just doing nice and loose. Eleven millimeter, hundred and five inch pounds. How this all fits together, because this is what allows fluid to sort of route to the various assemblies that need it, based on the positions of the valves and things. But that transfer plate is all there is. Um, like I would expect it a more I expected gaskets and things like that to hold it all nice and secure. Okay, the last piece of the puzzle is the thing that tripped me up last time, which is the neutral safety, or not the neutral safety, the um, torque converter clutch. So, that goes in there. See, like the wires, the manual even says, yeah, let's find it in the manual. It's super critical. I'm probably able to find it now that I need it. Where's the valve body section? So if you're gonna do this job, I highly recommend you get this. Uh, Oregon Performance has it for 35 bucks. You may be able to find it online. I think this plus the factory service manual are, they work very well together. Correct wire routing is very important. 
the wire must be routed away from the lower reverse band lever. So the lower reverse band lever is this. So that's not a problem. The wire is nowhere near that. The problem for me was the I had this wire was worn bare. And I believe it was worn bare because it was either brushing up against the drive the driving shell or maybe the lower reverse drum. Um, so I wanted away from all that stuff, but I also don't want it to get tangled up with the shift selector or um, the manual valve here. So like, I don't really know what the best course is, like maybe like that. And then we get to put the clip back in. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty scared about putting this clip in. And maybe I should have done it first because it seems to be really hard to do with the valve body and that's probably how it got dropped in the first place. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not dropping this thing a second time. We're gonna pull valve body out, we're gonna put that clip in and we're gonna drop the valve body in. Are you still filming? Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna, so we're gonna pull the valve body out, we're gonna clip that, that connector in and we're gonna put the valve body in. But you've seen everything that there is to see for reassembling this section of the transmission short of putting the pump in. So let me know if you got any questions, put them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.